Okay, next round is our Nagaram round, which means the round is all about anagrams. Anagrams, same rules as the previous round. Two words, pairs, anagrams of each other, identify, spell out both. Same plus 10 minus 5 on pounds. Uh, I won't say whether they've got a word right or wrong. They will get a plus 5 though if they get one word right. And pounds only if they get it wrong. Okay? We'll start in reverse order. Team 8. No, there's one more round after this of spellings. One direct to each team. Okay. Team 8. Uh, this is the example. A unit of area 4840 square yards used in English speaking countries. A contest of speed, also people belonging to a specific genetic group. Audience, what's the answers? Okay, somebody from one of the teams? Acre and race. Yeah? So, acre and race, anagrams of each other. Okay, platinum three. First one. Fa six letters each, obviously same number of letters, has to be. Far away, distant or isolated. A body of matter from outer space that enters the Earth's atmosphere and creates a streak of light as it burns up. Sir. Whenever you're ready. Yes. Yeah, go ahead. So first one is remote. Okay. R-E-M-O-T-E. -E. Yeah. And second one is meteor. M-E-T-E-O-R. Perfect answer. Plus 10 on remote and meteor. Well done. Okay. Team 7. Seven letter words. Relating to the direction of the sunrise, closest in distance or time. Last call. Any guesses at all? Horizon. Horizon. And the second part? No guess. Okay. Not horizon. Okay. Hands up from pretty much everyone. One, two, three, and six. One, two, four, and six. Five seems to be puzzled by this. One, two, four, and six are bouncing. We'll close it with that. Yep. Plus 10 to six. You'll kick yourself soundly. Plus 10 to four. Plus 10 to two. Plus 10 to one. So one, two, four, and six all got it right. Audience? Anyone? Okay, four, please give us the answer. Eastern and nearest. Eastern and nearest. That's all it was. Eastern and nearest. <laughs> okay. All the people who missed it are like having their hands on their head. But it happens. It's okay. Team 6, you're direct. Six letters. A basic and essential item often used in reference to food or supplies. A soft and light shade of color often used in art. Basic essential item used in the context of food. Soft and light shade of color, often used in art, used in other contexts as well. Staple, S-T-A-P-L-E and pastel, P-A-S-T-E-L. Excellent. Well done. Plus 10 to team 6. Great answering. Staple and pastel, not very easy actually. So well cracked by you. Plus 10 to 6. 5, yours. 8 letters. Shoes designed for athletic or physical activity in plural. To hold back or prevent from doing something often with physical force or mental effort. Go ahead, uh, Conal. First one is sneakers. Okay. And second one is knackers. Knackers, sneakers and knackers. No, team three are the only ones with their hands raised. Wow. Amazing. We should actually give you plus 20 for this if you get it right. Nobody has got it. Okay, go for it. Uh, nobody else bouncing, right? Okay, you can say it on the mic. Trainers and restrain. Absolutely right. Trainers and restrain. Very well done. Great answering. Give them a bonus five points on my discretion. Nobody got this. 15 points to team three. Trainers and restrain. I think that deserves a round of applause. Well done. Trainers and restrain. Great answer. Okay, team four. Tough luck, team five. Team four. To watch carefully the front side of a coin or medal typically featuring a portrait or design. Seven letters. Easy one. Um, the first one is observe and the second one is You have to words. spell both answers please. Okay. O-B-S-E-R-V, observe. And the second one is O-B, 
V E R S E, obverse. Absolutely right. Observe and obverse. Well done. This was just a transposition in this case. Easily done. Plus 10 to team 5, uh, 4, sorry. Plus 10 to team 4. Team 3. Eight letters. An animal that hunts and kills other animals for food. Something shaped like a blob of thin liquid having a globular form at the bottom, tapering to a point at the top. I mean, it can be either ways. The globular form can be at the top and can taper down to the bottom also. Okay. Yes. Spelling? Okay. No other answer? Okay. On the pounds. Six and eight. I'm going to close pounds quickly on this one. Five, four, six, and eight. Five, four, three, two, one. Pounds is closed. Four, six, and eight. Plus 10 to team eight. Plus 10 to team six. Minus five to team four. Minus 5 to 4, plus 10 to 6 and 8. Audience, yes. And? And teardrop. That's all it is. Predator and teardrop. I don't know how you missed teardrop after getting to predator. It's teardrop, teardrop shape. Didn't come at that time, but 5 points to 2 and 1 didn't pounds. 5 points to 3, minus 5 to 4, plus 10 to 6, plus 10 to 8. Bonus point. Oh, forgetting teardrop. One half answer has been given also. And you want bonus point. Okay. Team one. Uh, sorry, team two. Sorry, team two. Team two. Eight letters. A vessel used for pouring or serving wine or other liquids to have publicly taken back or withdrawn a statement of belief that one previously held. Second one is in the past tense. Spellings. Perfect. Decanter and recanted. Well done. Good answering team two. Plus 10 to you. On decanter and recanted. Last one of the round to team one. Describing something written or spoken that is excessively verbose, lengthy or redundant. A gift of money, property or other valuable assets given by the bride's family to the groom or his family at the time of marriage. Very easy one to end it. Dowry and Rowdy. Which is what? Uh, in the opposite Why are you giving everything always in opposite direction? Is Dowry. Ah. Okay. Pounds open. <laughs> Everybody is pouncing, obviously. No, not pouncing. Teammate. Last call. Last call. Definitely no bonus for you this time. Plus 10 to 7, plus 10 to 6, plus, sorry, plus 10 to 5, plus 10 to 4, plus 10 to 3, and plus 10 to 2. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, plus 10, 1, plus 5. Team 8 didn't score on this question because the first, the second answer is, of course, dowry. First answer is? Wordy. It's wordy. Wordy and dowry. <laughs> okay. That's the end of the round. Time to do a score check with one round to go. We'll be done in the next 8 to 10 minutes. Team 1 on 80. Team 2 currently in the lead on 125. Oh, team 3 on 80. Team 4 on 45. Teams 5 and 6 jointly in second place on 115. Team 6 on 55 and team, uh, sorry, team 7 on 55 and team 8 on 70. So currently team 2, 125. Team 5, 115. Team 6, 115. And team, uh, yeah, and two teams on 80. And let's just uh, resolve this right now. Where are the qualifier sheets? Because if there is a tie, we'll just keep it in handy. If there is a tie between teams 5 and 6 for 2nd and 3rd place, then we'll know who to take in. Yeah, Damien's had 21 in the prelims. And uh, 
SSC had 20. So in case there's a tie, Damien's finished second and SSC finished third. Okay. Right. Let's go to the last round. 